event, we've um, just become a, a regular activity every time we have a symposium, and it's the Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, we want to honor somebody that has really made an impact on the advancement of segmenting throughout their career. And uh, we've had quite a list of distinguished people receive this already, uh, starting with uh, the first symposium, which was Lincoln Siphon, then Ray Allen, Bud Latvin, Malcolm Tibbetts, Jerry Bennett, and this year we're going to be honoring Bill Smith. Um, unfortunately, Bill couldn't be here tonight, but uh, Joe Seltzer, a good friend of his, is going to give uh, uh, receive the award for him. And uh, Kurt Theobald, I'm going to, if Kurt, if you can come up, uh, he is going to give the presentation. It's been since uh, Gatlinburg that I was a segmented symposium, and, and I forgot how much fun these are. I do a lot of symposiums throughout the year, and this group really knows how to put on a show. Thanks, Johnson Brothers. That was a lot of fun. It's my privilege to introduce Bill Smith as the honorary lifetime member for this symposium. And if you look in the instant gallery, I'm pretty convinced that you wouldn't see the amount of open segmented work out there if Bill hadn't have published his book in 2002. And Joe is going to read a little bit of text coming from, from Bill to describe that a little more accurately. But Bill was an innovator, a great guy, and don't think Bill is just sitting at the couch. I saw him sit in Sedona a couple of years ago, and I said, Bill, what are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm messing around making telescopes. And he showed me this telescope that was, the case was intricately designed as his open segment at work with an 18-inch mirror. So he's not messing around in flying remote-controlled airplanes and competitively handgun shooting and reloading his own ammunition. So Bill is, I talked with him and he said, please let everyone know that I'm sorry that I can't be there. I just don't travel that much anymore. But he's honored to receive that, this award, so just be aware of that. I've got a PowerPoint of images that Bill sent to me. and. And just look at these images and the intricacy, and they're not in any order specifically, but they're just amazing open segmented works. It's my honor to hand off this trophy made by Tom Lohman, a demonstrator, to Joe Seltzer. Uh, Bill's a good friend. Bill's a good friend of mine and asked if I would um, 
uh, read some remarks that he had, uh, he had sent me. Um, to the members of the segmented wood turners, please accept my sincere thanks for, as this award will always have a dear place in my heart. More importantly, I wish to thank all of those that helped me along the way, both in segmenting and wood turning in general. The community to which we are all a part is very special. Many arts and craft disciplines are somewhat secretive. Techniques and knowledge are locked away and not shared. Try asking a potter to share a glaze recipe. It is human nature to covet hard-won ideas and not divulge information that might give the next guy an advantage. In the end, this is a short-sighted attitude. I have found woodturners to be just the opposite. Around 1990, I met George Radishy, a turner making huge segmented pieces. I was drawn to his work and asked many questions. He invited me to his shop where I picked his brains for two days. He held nothing back, showing me every trick, technique, formula, and shortcut. So informative was his guidance that I was creating large segmented pieces within a week. As I got further into wood turning, I found this attitude of sharing every way, everywhere I looked. About the same time, I joined the local wood turning club. There I met the person presenting these words, Joe Seltzer. Turner, an avid collector of small, intricate work. Every month, Joe would bring five pieces from his collection to the club's show and tell table. These were not just your average bowl or vase, but amazing, amazing works by the best artists from around the world. Joe did not hesitate to share his prize collection with the 40 or so hobbyists attending the monthly meetings. He allowed us to hold and examine up close these incredible pieces, one of which was a small, open segmented vase created by Yosh Sugiyama. From that encounter, I could visualize the endless possibilities of open segmented work. It took four tries over a month before I figured out a simple, reproducible method to make them. When I showed those early pieces, there was a lot of interest and many questions about my method. I was quite pleased to be able to share my ideas with the woodturning community. Um, I want to put in a side comment for myself. Um, the next month, uh, Bill brought two pieces to our show and tell. One piece was a copy of the Yoshugiyama piece that I had brought. He had figured out how to make that piece using a technique which um, you have read about in his book. Um, but he also brought a second piece, which was the same technique, but a very different design. Um, he began thinking about what would make, what he could do with that technique. Um, I'm very pleased to say that that second piece is in my collection now. Um, now, back to Bill's comments. Notice how sharing keeps coming up. If you have an extra month, I could fill it with many similar stories. I say to all of those artists that have shared with me, I thank you, and am so very pleased to pay it forward. I would encourage each of you to nurture this attitude and keep it alive. Thank you. Thanks, Joe, and thanks, Kurt, for that uh, wonderful tribute. I also want to give a special thanks to uh, Todd Lohman, who put in and uh, volunteered many, many hours to make this fantastic piece. So, thanks, Todd.